Yes, definitely. I mean, massive handles the online part. Uh, that's that's our expertise, and that, that's what we are best at. So that's what we do. Um, we 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 all. But the, the thing is, the the game must feel as one product. It can't feel like single player and multiplayer are separate entities. They are very much. They marry well together, very very well. I mean, a lot of the the. Um, what do you say, like the concepts of the friends matter and the insanity of the island and all that stuff is things that you can also see in the single player. Like the insanity of the characters and all that stuff ties together to our team support, which is the side cast that comes in and brings the insanity into the multiplayer and how our entire concept of uh, your friends matter, you must play with your friends to stay alive goes very well with single player because Jason needs to uh, stay with his friends to stay alive and so on and so on, the survivability. And, yeah. Yeah. Yes, uh, the, 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 the actual f uh, factions, if you will, groups yeah, the pirates, that you... Pirates, rebels, or rebels. Pirates and rebels, and yes, those are also, you, you will see them in the, uh, in the single so player. Uh, yes, it, yeah. for, I, I can talk about one of them that which has been featured a lot, is the, 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 the Vaas character. Yeah. Um, he is the guy uh, leading the pirates, yeah. so if you're playing on a pirate, um, if you don't succeed as a pirate, Vaas is going to be pissed off at you. <laughs> And uh, yeah, he's the guy uh, explaining everything to you in a very in his in in, in Vass's way of explaining things, which is very. Uh, he has a special language, so to say. <laughs> Some people might might think that it's like a restriction to just be on the island, but the island features a lot of different biomes, so there there will be a lot of variety in terms of environment on the island. Uh, but again, can stretch how nice it feels to play. Um, like a first-person shooter where there's actually color. Uh, moving away from the gray and the brown saturated, that is a kind of like very, very, uh, almost the main focus in the genre right today, and just bringing back the colorfulness of Far Cry 1 uh, and setting the, the multiplayer and the single player in, in that environment is really cool. Uh, also, like the environment, that the, the island, there's no rules at all. There's no police, there's no military, there's no chain of command, and that's why we can have uh, craziness like the side gas. and that's why we can have the craziness like at the end of the match the player gets to be the star of the show in the interactive sequence where you either decide to uh, punish the loser or show him mercy because that could not work somewhere else in the world because there will be a military command saying no that's not allowed there will be a police saying that's not allowed but on the island anything goes so that kind of gives us uh, free reigns to do what we want with this insanity the reasoning why all these things are visible in the map there's an explanation connecting it all. So yes, they fit very well. But also, the, the, it's, it's a matter of um, designing a map so that it feels, it's easy to navigate and it's easy to, to, to learn. And that, that kind of comes in with the, the usage of what, what we call like a hero prop. Um, if, if we design a specific area with one big hero prop like the submarine, you're gonna know that that is a submarine. So even if you never played a map and someone, your friend says to you over, the VoIP saying, okay, I'm at the submarine, you know, like, okay, I know the submarine, I know where it is. So it's easy to distinguish uh, each area of a map by using uh, uh, rememberable uh, props and objects. And that's a big uh, thing to, to differentiate the different areas of the map, so yeah, it's, it's easier to learn and easier to navigate. The, the weapons that you will see is weapons that are created on the island, so what they have. So I mean, like, this it's not going to be like a military grade uh, airplane coming in, dropping down, like military grade heavy ordnance. It's gonna be um, a crazy pirate in a in, in a helicopter pushing out a barrel uh, filled with nails, and then dropping down another barrel that explodes that pushes the nails out. I mean, it's just crazy stuff that they make. It's homemade, almost right. to that extent. So it's very that's the feel and that's the that's the kind of insanity of Far Cry that we would bring to the most player. Uh, but and in, in terms of disclosing more, yeah. I can't do it right now. Yeah. But yes, there are more team supports than you saw today, yeah. and those are unlocked as you level up, yeah. and you can customize with your character. There's actually a couple of ones. Um, there is a lot of memorable moments with the Psychas, and there's a lot of fun stuff with the Psychas that can happen. Um, the, the 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 most normal thing that happens is that you're together, uh, a group of friends, and the Psychas drops down, and the guy standing next to you. A second ago, had like a had like his name tag above him. You can see like, okay, this is my friend. But now he looks like a big, dark demon with glowing eyes, and you don't really know if he's your friend or not. And like, you look at each other, and the first guy who shoots 
there's one bullet shot, and then everyone just starts shooting. It's just like, it's total war. But the really fun part is when a psych ass is dropped down on a rebel and a pirate, and they both go crazy, and they actually think they're friends. So they're like, they're both crazy, and they can't determine friend from foe, and they think, they start to communicate, they start to jump, just like, okay, don't shoot me, I'm your friend, I'm your friend. And then they realize when the psych ass goes out that they're not friends. So they're just like, okay, crap. And then they're usually very close. It ends with someone just like taking out the machete and just stabbing him in the throat. And then, uh, so just really those fun, uh, totally crazy moments with the psych ass. It just messes with everyone. It just messes with your brain. And it's really fun.